Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Jason Gray, 503 with Blood and Fire Country Club, and today we're going to be walking through the back nine of Wolf Creek in practice mode with low winds so we can really see what the ball's doing. Actually, we'll go moderate winds just to get a little more of a realistic approach on some of these holes. Um, so the back nine is a very high scoring back nine is probably the or the best scoring so it'd be low scoring in golf right uh so lots of opportunities for birdies and um eagles and things like that okay i'm gonna redo that because i was talking and got the zoom leg okay there's two fairways here left and right left is a lot more downhill um being on the right fairway is typically best but you won't go too wrong either way just be in the fairway All right, where are we at? 134 going to the back pin. The front pin is, is super easy. Um, just stay below it, but make sure you don't spin off. The back pin is pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. So let's uh, figure this out here. About 131 yards, give or take. That's a round and nine iron with some backspin. So it'd be like here, give or take. And we need to go about one grid box to the left, give or take. So when the wind's coming from behind you, it has slightly less effect than when it's coming from your face. You can see here if you're too short, it rolls down the cliff. You don't want to do that. It does have this blue, dark blue ridge here that you might be able to land it and spin it back, especially with a headwind, but a little bit risky. And the putting is not so easy on this hole. So just playing to be right below it, straight at it, um, is... What I'm going for here. Miss a ding into the wind or hit the ding is usually ideal. So this is, you know, a boom boom, still far away, but it's uh, not the easiest of putting. It's probably the easiest one there. Uphill, left to right. Um, let's see over here. Let's see the different putts. So, you know, if you're kind of middle from where we were, straight on, it's uphill, but it's right to left with a good amount of break. So where I was is pretty ideal for that. Um, anyways, hope you guys are having a great Memorial weekend. Not sure when you're going to see this, but uh, it's great to pause and look at all of our blessings and remember the people who sacrificed it all for us and uh, the people that are willing to. You know, without that, our country's not where it's at, and we don't have a lot of luxuries. Look at this one, downhill. So thank you to those that serve. Thank you to those who will serve. Left pin high is not so great. So where I initially started, even though it had break. Oh boy, don't go too far. Bye bye ball. So bottom left of the top right pin. So top right pin, the bottom left. All right. So we got that note. Uh, remember on putting, if you want to be more exact, you want to look at where you're starting. So my elevation, I'm starting at down seven at my ball. And then I'm going to up 4.3. So, you know, do the difference there. And that is your true elevation. So was it like 3.6? So when you're putting that in your calculations, you need to know that, especially if you're being that exact. Um, something like this. Oh, didn't calculate. Oh, you know what I did? Um, I did the reverse. So if you're down seven, and then you're going uphill, 4.3, that's actually five uphill, not three point, whatever I did. So um, yeah, gotta hit like 4% more. I forgot where I aimed too. Maybe it was here. Oh, 
15 meter. Holy moly. All right, guys. Well, you can see if you are not locked in, uh, it is easy to make dumb errors and make the game a whole lot harder on yourself. But not too much to see here. Stay in the fairway off the tee. Left or right fairway doesn't matter much. Right fairway is a little better. The back right pin, you want to be bottom left of it. Uh, the bottom pin, you want to be bottom middle of it. You don't want to go long because it's a downhill putt, although long right behind the pin is pretty straight. All right, this one I need to figure out. Um, the extra elevation makes the wind do a little bit more, I believe. <clears throat> so we have somewhere around 192 yards because of that headwind. I think I'm going to add 3% to whatever my calculation is. I think it plays a little longer. We'll find out though. All right, so if I'm doing 192, 193, call it 193, I could do a five iron with 80% backspin. I could do four iron full backspin, modify it. I could do some type of punch shot, modify, but I don't like the yardages for that. So I'm going to first start off with, what did I say, 193. Start off with the five iron. But here's the thing. I did say add, what, 3% was my note. Hmm. So this will not allow me to do that. So I'm going to do the four iron. So 95. So I'm going to make it 98% full backspin. And I'm going to go two grid boxes in a little bit. We're going to hit this and see how this starts off. And four irons tend to break that mold of the of the holes that you add more yards to for some reason. Three and four irons you don't, but there's a lot of holes where the five iron and under you got to hit more. Maybe it's because they hit at a lower trajectory. So I'm not playing enough wind, but look at that one, 194. That landed a little short. So that one ended up uh, great. So right middle of it. So right middle is the putt. So we'll go here. Uh, only 1% more for four and three arms. Uh, bottom left pin, right pin high equal great putt. All right, so uh, this hole right here, be in the fairway, so make sure you know your carry distance and see how the wind's gonna affect things. Now this one, the pins play slightly longer, I think, um, by a couple yards. And that might even be true for the longer irons too. So you have to practice this out and figure that out based off of your calculations. But I've got about 215 here. So it's about 98.5% of three iron with full back. I'm going to go 99. Now you see here, you got to get over this slope. Um, everything kind of cones around here. Now in the back right pin, there's a slope here. And then it feeds into this. So you got to get over this slope. In my opinion, you're better off to make sure you do and even go a little long. If you went super long, this rolls down. So go long on that pin. This pin, a lot of times you have putts to the top right of it just because the way it slopes. But let's go right at it. Uh, three iron. See how much the wind is going to affect this. Let's go 
slightly more and see. Yeah, so plays like 1% more maybe. So left mid pin add 1%. Now, I didn't hit that on the, the ding, but and then you see a, a right pin high is an uphill putt. So bottom right, bottom right, equal better putt. And then we can calculate this one, I guess. Down one, so it's 1.9 up. Um, so it's somewhere around here probably. Now when your guy's standing off to the side more, uh, you might calculate the dots, but you gotta take a little bit off the break because of the, where the ball's coming from. So if you like straight on the hole, I would have played about 5% to 7% more break. Okay, this hole, you want to be right of the pin off here because like this whole thing slopes left this whole thing slopes left so if you land over here it'll roll there if you land right at the pin or below it will roll down so we know that you know your carry distances um, I got this souped up driver on right now playing the showdown so I use the souped up stuff for the showdowns and then turn it off um, the wind is it's interesting because like Going through this rock, is the pin directly there? It looks like it is, right? So from here, if you look at that, what is that wind pointing at? Like one o'clock maybe? So I, I played the wind off of that, and, but when you look at the hole, it's a different camera, different angle, and you see the, the direction going a little differently. Um, okay, so I need to hit about 279 to get to the pin. Um, that's with the tailwind helping. 279. This full backspin carries around 317 for me. So that's like 88%. You hit this driver 88%. I don't know if it plays the exact yardage or not. We will find out. And 88%. And that's here. 88%. That's right at it, so we'd really want to go 87%. No boom boom. Okay. Yeah, the wind from the T box was pretty accurate. So that's not horrible. 293. I mean, it's not a great putt. You ideally want to be putting from here if you can keep the ball there. Um, let's do it one more time. again. I don't know what I hit the last one. Did I hit the last one 87 or 86 percent? Okay, but this is good for a practice here. So that first one was major right to left putt. Probably not making that. This one, anytime you're coming from these over here, especially on this top pin, the ball rolls like crazy. So you and look past the pin here, it goes like super downhill. So anything that rolls here is just going to roll all the way out. So you want to be uh, cautious and up here on the top pin you want to go super left of it because it will run down this one's not running down from the guys left to right much it's actually going right to left it's pretty pretty straight so you have a couple options coming from the fairway you can do the flop shot or you can do full backspin with this club this uh, this um, ball you full backspin pitch shot and let it just kind of stop in its tracks. Um, you could probably do the full backspin pitch for 11 yards as well. So let's try each of them, assuming we don't make one of them. All right, we'll go with the lob shot. Normally, depending on how far away you are, but you're aiming two to two and a half boxes to the side. I think for this distance, two boxes is enough. Um, 
from the fairway, I like to, so this is 20 yards. I like to add three yards to the total distance, although it is downhill some. So I'm gonna add like two and a half yards. So this is 10, this is 12, this is 14. That's what I normally do. I'm gonna take a little off to be safe. And we didn't need to take that little off. It just stuck in the winds in our face too. But that's a real safe shot there. Although I don't see us making it that often. Um, you can go putter view, see what this is looking like. So if you ch pitch it with with um, not a lot of backspin, you can see that once it gets to this area, it's move, not moving much. This area it's moving a lot. So if you pitched it out here, seven yards, let it roll four. Pretty much a straight pitch, right? It's going to the right a little bit. So maybe here. Okay, so if you pitch it, and I'm going to put about half backspin, and we're going to go, let's see here, let's try 69%. Well, That's always nice if it happens to the real game, but uh, in practice it kind of screws you up, doesn't it? Uh, the other one would be a chip, a full backspin, kind of plays like a putt, but uh, I'm not great at those anyways. So, Okay, this is tricky because you have to find the fairway, although this rough in the middle, a lot of it is 25-30, might be a little worse at times. So know the wind. If you're on a shorter tee with a major tailwind, you can go for the green. If you've got a good wind here, you can use it to get up this way. Um, 342 minus 99 is what? 310. They got a lot of it. 320, 325. So I'm not getting to this point. The wind's going to push it to the right some. So it's probably end up here if I aim about right there. Hmm. Don't want to miss with the wind, but it's safer than missing into the bunker. Oh, man. So what happens when you miss with it. Okay, we'll find out if it's just 25-30. Okay, 25-30 rough. The ball comes out slightly different, but I would just ignore it to keep it simple. Just uh, play your normal stuff. So 103, up 21. That adds about 7 yards, give or take. Um, then we've got the wind, about 97, 98% our face. So that's going to be, what, about 7 yards or so taken and uh, adding. So about 117. And 117 can play a pitch and wedge with some spin. You can play a 9-iron full backspin lighter. So let's see the 9-iron. is about 91%. I don't really like that. I think we're going to go with the pitching wedge. Like that. And then it's uphill. So you see the hill to the right if you land over here. It could feed back here. If you land too short, it's going to feed down. If you land too much left is there. So missing right's more ideal. Below it's probably a better putt, though. But, I mean, this is... Uh, yeah, below is going to be better. I mean, most pins below is better. But this is not terrible, right? You can move this around, look at the dots. Okay, it's moving right to left some. 4.9. So remember, if you look here, it's down 1.1. Now it's down 1.8, so it's only down 0.8. So it's about 4. Oh, okay, this is... Uh, the putts behind these pins are pretty downhill, so you want to be below them. Although, it's hard to keep the ball there at times, and I think you have to add a few yards in this hole. So my note says add like 4% or something. Yeah, 4%. Okay, so... 
We've got 116, 117 with this win. Uh, it's tricky off the tee. That's a full backspin pitching wedge, which probably spin back some. So how many yards do we want to add? Let's try this with the pitching wedge, see if it goes just past it and or spins back. Yeah, just past and see if it spins back to it or just leaves it a little long. Short. Wow. You gotta add you gotta add some juice to this hole, man. Especially if you're playing backspin. Alright, so bottom right, it's uphill, right to left. It's probably like here, maybe. Um all right, let's try some other ideas though. So we have 116. If we do the nine iron, that'd be 88%. Add four, 92%. Let's see if that's accurate for here. 92. Oh, it's dead on. So what I like to do when I practice in my notes here, I go like this. I put the exclamation point saying, hey, I've I've proven that or it's happened again, again, again. Uh, nine iron, uh, headwind, front pin. So let's take some notes there in case I come across them if I'm doubting it. All right, so this is downhill. The best putt is probably bottom right. You guys got winning tonight's uh, championship game. Well, by the time you watch this, it's probably over. But uh, Bucks, or not Bucks, Heat or Celtics? What do you got? What do you got? I think the Celtics are the better team, but uh, I want Miami to, to pull through on them. So left of the pin, bottom left ish is fine. Let's go left pin high. Sometimes there's a surprise there. Left pin high is pretty straight. Let's go behind the pin and see. I think it's a downhill putt, but it might not be too bad. It's like top left of the pin. It's pretty straight. So I think just the far bottom left is not good, but you know, you're not aiming for there anyways. Everything else is fine. And this is down 0.9. So it's only like down 0.7 total. Down 0.7. Ooh, hoo -hoo. burn the edge, burn the edge. Okay, this one, depending on your tee and everything else, figure out, you know, everyone's fine, you might be able to drive the green. It's not the case here. You can definitely get it towards this bunker. Oh, I shouldn't say definitely, it's here. 358 minus 20 is 338, take off about 10. 328. Mm. Take a tiny bit off just because like it doesn't matter like if I'm 10 yards further away but it would matter if I'm in the bunker. So we'll play safer. Yeah 10 yards up would be fine. All right 44. My belief 50 yards and under it's a punch shot so chart those out see how far yours carry and go from there. So this about 93 percent give or take. I'm down a little bit. I've got some tailwinds so about 92 or 91. The wind doesn't affect punch that much. We'll go 92. 91 and a half. 92. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Pushed a little further than I thought. And you see above the hole, it's kind of top right of it, is downhill a little, but it is straight. Okay, this one, you know your carry distances, and uh, there's 
a lot of winds that you can carry over this because look how far down this is. And then there are a lot of winds like this one that you cannot. However, I'm still going to calculate this out because I don't want to lose my ball. So 358 down 147. Uh, 14 mile an hour headwind, around 97% of it, it's 341. Okay. Well, I got thought, no worries of that. This would be plenty short of that. But when in Rome, 331. All right. This front pin, I usually add around five yards. Again, if you're using a four iron or three iron, maybe not as much. But a five iron and under, I'm adding around five yards. Um, but now that I said that, I might still add five yards with this headwind here. The longer it's in the air, the more it affects it. So 205 is straight up. So let's go add five yards. That'd be like 210, 211. That would be a 96% full backspin three iron. I think we're going to do that. Um, I forget. If you land up here, it's going to trickle down. You don't want to land too short, but you also don't want to like run past. So I think we'll go right at it. I thought I saw some right to left here. Yeah, maybe it's a little off. Or is that straight? Yeah, maybe not much. All right, what are we doing here? 96% full backspin. Okay, 97%. Let's see if it's close. Uh, yeah, just how did it go so far right? So carry 200. Hmm. Let's hit it again. Let's hit the straight up number with the three iron. Don't want to lead you guys astray. 94%. 94%. Ninety-three, and it's boom boom. Okay, so hmm. top left five to seven. Got some older notes here when I was using different clubs and different on the game. So notes are your friend, guys. I used to be a professional poker player. Spent most of my time online. And uh, notes helped so many times. Just got to read them though. All right, so uh, play straight up with three iron. All right, let's see here. Right side of this, pin high. Barely downhill, moving right to left. Let's see where we'd like to be. By the way, this is uh, an eagle opportunity with good winds, birdie opportunity with challenging winds. But this that that would have been a birdie putt, you know. So uh, bottom middle is going to be a little tricky because the left to right over here is downhill putts with some movement. So right pin high. Let's go bottom right. Bottom right's fine. Kind of like my putt earlier, huh? Yeah, right pin high, I'll take that. Let's go top right and see. Yeah, downhill. Downhill a foot or an inch. Breaking right to left. Don't really want that putt. 9.3 down one, 8.3. Swing, swing, swing. Yeah, I don't want that putt. <laughs> First one we had just right pin high is ideal. Let's take note of that. Uh, bottom pin. Right pin high. It's 
to bottom right equal better plus. Stay below the pin. Okay, last hole is uh, wind dependent. You can drive the green often. Um, front pin, it's interesting though with the headwind. 294, 15, 16 wind, 325, and I can hit it about 319, 320. It's gonna be close. We get up there close, anyways. Um, Don't want to be in the bunker. Okay. Pulled it. Hmm. Hmm. Might have been perfect. Still a little bit better. Mm. All right, so we've got 18 yards. I mean, we can look for the better putt there, but it's hard to control the driver. So we've got down one, 17 point, down one. All right, let's see if we can make this one, okay. 17.5, down one, so down two point, down one, down 2.9. Let's count the dots, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, six 1,000, seven 1,000, eight 1,000, nine 1,000, 10 1,000, 11. It's tough because some of these aren't moving. So, we gotta guess a little bit more. This is 60 might be this at 34 percent let's see here 34 percent mmm those early dots really took the power and kicked it off line so but that would have been an easy putt for birdie and I missed it the same way that's what you want, right? Hey, have a chance of making it, but uh, if not, you miss it. Anyway, so Wolf Creek, find the fairways. Take your time to measure out some of the shots if you need to. Um, stay below the pin, usually. There might be a hole or two you have to add a couple yards, so go through practice mode with your equipment. Make sure you have it mapped out beforehand, and then figure out what's there for you. And then just execute. And the putting is pretty straight up. So this should be a low-scoring back nine when you get there. All right, guys, good luck, enjoy, and as always, uh, send us a game invite, Jason Gray 503 on WGT. It's Jason Gray 503, pound sign, 9049 on Discord. Jason Gray 503, pound sign, 9049 on Discord. Would love to play with some of y'all. And uh, we have about 35 spots left in the club right now. So if you all are competitive and you're fun and you're looking to play on PC and Discord and in a great competitive fun club, uh, send me a message and we'll see if we can get you in.